protests have been raging across France as part of an uprising against police brutality. This latest demonstration comes on the heels of the June 27th police killing of 17-year-old Nahel M., a descendant of Algeria. However, a recent article in Jagabin contends the French riots are a result of miserable conditions in France. Here to tell us more about her reporting in Jacobin and what's happening on the ground in France is doctorate student and researcher Marion Bovely. Marion, so mu uh, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. So tell us what, in your uh, impression, is actually going on uh, right now. Uh, obviously, we have a very um, mixed picture uh, in the U.S. I, th I think it's not clear and is not being reported on by U.S. media outlets with a lot of clarity. So what, what do you think is the real story? So uh, a few days ago, a young uh, teenager, he was 17, was uh, shot down by a policeman. Uh, he was driving a car in order to bring his uh, little brother to an exam. And he didn't have the right to drive a car. And when the policeman told him to, that he wanted to control the car, um, there was uh, an increase of uh, violence. And uh, so the video shows that uh, the policeman put his gun on the head of the young man and he told him that he wanted he would sh shoot uh, if the so Niall didn't respond uh, clearly to the, to the police and the young boy so he, pa he panicked and uh, he tried to drive and then the policeman shot in his head and the young man uh, died and he was with two other people in the car who saw the the, the scene and so the police was also filmed by the young people. And then, uh, uh, so there was a video and then there was uh, the increase of uh, anger in the population and many, many uh, demonstration on evening and mobilization. So uh, th there's a lot of parallels here to some of the incidents of police violence that we've uh, talked about uh, recently in the United States, the fact that it was caught on video, this kind of um, dueling perceptions of what happened here, people who were symp sympathetic to the 17-year-old uh, that was killed say that this was an, uh, a disproportionate use of force, a disproportionate use of threat, and that was perhaps racially motivated. The individual was of Algerian descent. Other people in the police officer has averred that he needed to, uh, he was afraid that the the kid would drive the car and hurt people with the vehicle, and that was the threat that l l required him to uh, shoot and kill him. And But what is, what is different from, I think, what we have been understanding in the context of, say, the Black Lives Matter movement is the role that uh, Fr French cultural identity versus racial identity is understood differently in the country and how this is playing out as uh, there are, there's this division uh, among, you know, uh, North, North African largely uh, French citizens uh, in terms of how they've been treated in the country and whether that, that discussion of different treatment has really seen as much uh, prevalence as we've had it in America. Can you unpack that a little bit? What, what's going on here from a kind of an ethnic, racial, cultural perspective? Okay. Uh, so first, I would like to give a little of the political con context, context. Two years ago, the government, so Emmanuel Macron, uh, he had the majority uh, at the parliament. He wanted to pass a bill saying that we couldn't film the policemen anymore. It means that if you are attacked, if you are hurt by the police, you couldn't prove it because you couldn't film the police. And there was a huge mobilization. and. Now we can still film the police thanks to the mobilization of association, political parties, etc. But there, were, there is always um, a desire for the government to endorse the position of the police rather than uh, the population. And uh, there was a second bill we forgot a little bit in France. It was passed in uh, 2017 by so the Socialist Party when they were, uh, so before Emmanuel Macron, it was a bill who say that uh, in case of uh, uh, danger suspected by the police, they could use their gun, and it was uh, voted by the, the parliament at that period. And since this uh, bill was uh, adopted, there is a huge increase of uh, use of gun by the police, and also the, we see that more and more people are dying uh, when there is a police uh, intervention. And as you said uh, before, there is a question of uh, systemic racism 
first in the population and also in the police because the police is not disconnected from the population and we also see uh, with their union and co corporatist movement that many people in the French uh, police are part of a, a right wing and the radical uh, right wing movement and so mm -hmm. there is a problem of racism in the police and there is a problem of the government with always endorsing the proposition of the police. Well, French President Emmanuel Macron is being scrutinized for threatening to suspend social media networks in an effort to crack down on the spread of violence and the unrest. Uh, how is this being received? He said, I'm looking at The Guardian, he said, we need to think about how young people use social networks, and when things get out of hand, we may have to regulate them or cut them off. Uh, how has that been received by the people of France? Uh, it seems totally absurd because uh, there is a question, for, according to Emmanuel Macron, the problem is linked to the parents, how the parents are uh, going with their children. There is also the problem, he says, that one of the uh, roots of the violence is about video games. There is no study saying that video games are creating violence in the population. It was never demonstrated, but to say that, and he also said that there were problems with uh, social uh, media, especially Snapchat, and also TikTok, and also Twitter. Um, but it's not the root of the, the, the problem we have. We have a problem for the population of public services, of uh, systemic discrimination and racism, and the government want to cut, uh, in some uh, circumstances, social networks for some people. It seems totally absurd and stupid and also very authoritarian. Yeah, we've been from across the pond looking at the various protests in France over uh, labor issues, the uh, lack of garbage pickup, uh, the protesting the uh, uh, move to raise the retirement age. And here on the left, some of us look at it kind of enviously, because it takes quite a bit to get Americans on the street, whereas culturally in France it seems like there's much more of an appetite for protest and civil disobedience in service of what people believe to be basic foundational rights. Um, and I wonder that whether uh, how, how this protest movement is being received, if there's still more sympathy for it, you think, in France than maybe the more um, disruptive or violent Black Lives Matter movements here. Uh, were received over time? Are people largely supportive of them, or because of the nature of this protest being about police brutality as opposed to economic rights, are we seeing more frustration um, in France? Um, I think there was a kind of a, there is a, uh, an evolution uh, years after years, and uh, about so the police uh, brutality, I think there was a rupture during the, the movement against the retirement bill because many people who were, went in the streets, it was kind of, a, I don't know, teacher, some people who didn't, who never have problem with police and they saw violence. Mm. And so we are in this uh, context of many people who are not, who don't have to face police violence, they saw it during the last months and they didn't understand why and they say, okay, maybe there is a problem with police. And now we have this situation, I think that more and more people are aware of uh, the, this problem, this systemic problem and the necessity to reform the police. And there is also on the political spectrum, on the uh, left wing, I think um, the political party and are more and more aware of this question of uh, racism in the society and also in the police. And I think that there is a, uh, people are shocked by, by what's happening today. Yeah, that's fascinating, the idea that their experience with labor militancy has given people more sympathy with people who are protesting uh, police violence more specifically. Thank you so much, Marion, for joining us today. Thank you.